Govi recently launched their brand new TV backlight kit called the T2. In this video, I'll unbox, set up, and test. Beyond this, I'm also going to incorporate through the DreamView setup their new Govi M1 LED strip that I recently cut into 5 sections and reconnected using different length extension wires, so make sure to watch until the end if that's something that interests you. Right as you open things up, you'll see the updated dual camera with a unique hinge mounting system that allows this to fit even the thinnest of TVs. Next, you'll find the welcome information and getting started guide the LED strip, which I'll get into shortly, calibration squares, the controller, wire clips, the power block, and a USB-C cable. So the LED strip they're using is the other major update with this new setup. It has double the number of lights at 60 per meter compared to the previous version that had 30, which will hopefully allow for better color accuracy. And before moving on, I'll do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of this next to their previous version, the T1. As far as installation goes, you could certainly do this while the TV is still on the wall, but to make it easier to see, I'll take it down. I'll first have to remove the LED strip and controller from the T1 setup. Next, I suggest laying out the new T2 LED strip around your TV to get a feel for where to center everything before actually sticking them on. Once I'm set on where it'll go, I'll be starting at the bottom right and going around the TV in a counterclockwise direction. And as you can probably notice, there's a good size gap between the end of the section of the LEDs and the corner of the TV. They have to do this because the same strip has to be able to fit on a 55 inch TV as well. But one thing that I do think Govi should do is make a strip specifically for the 65 inch TVs since this is a very common size and that way the coverage of the LED strip would get closer to the corners. Now I'll just quickly use the clips to secure the corner wires to the TV to ensure they're not sticking out and visible from the front. And finally, position the control box in the back and make sure it's located in a place that the cord from the LED strip and the camera will be able to reach. Now that everything's back up in the wall, here's a closer look at the camera and how it's resting on my TV. Next, I'm going to lightly, and I mean lightly, stick the calibration squares at the corners and middle sections of the screen. But if you don't want to do that, just search for Govi Calibration Test on YouTube and you'll find videos that simulate this step. Next, make sure everything is plugged in and start up the Govi app. Click the Bluetooth icon in the top right and we'll search for any new devices to set up. It found the T2, so now we can quickly get it set up by pressing the power button once on the controller that's attached to the back of the TV. When it's connected, it will recommend watching their setup tutorial video and it will also want you to confirm everything is plugged in and in place. You can now press start. It will scan the strip and you can choose the color orientation that you're seeing. Next, you'll put in your Wi-Fi information and then you can start the calibration by dragging the circles on the screen over the orange squares on the TV. Once completed, you'll click submit and the setup is done. Now in order to get the best results, here are a couple things that I made sure to do. Most TVs will have preset brightness settings and the T2 as well as the T1 performed best when my TV was set to its bright configuration. Next, on the Govi app, I found that things looked best when the brightness of the LED strip was set to around 50% and saturation was somewhere between 15 and 20%. And my white balance is closer to the left than it is to the right like you're seeing here. But every TV is going to be slightly different and some of this just boils down to personal preference but it does take a little bit of tinkering to get it just right. So fast forwarding to nighttime, I'll go over a few examples of areas where I noticed some subtle improvements compared to the previous version. This first scene impressed me because I can distinctly see about five different colors on the bottom and left side of the screen and I don't remember getting this type of accuracy on the T1. And here's another animation that just seems to be a little bit more dynamic than before. You can see that as the buildings go by, the light immediately dims and then gets brighter as it passes. And one of the improvements with the camera is a quicker response time and in my opinion, it does seem to be better. Here's another image that I love, and I'm honestly not sure if this is due to the new device or a recent software update, but where there are parts of the screen that's darker than the rest, like on the right side of this image, the lights behind the screen are now more accurately reduced. I seem to remember the contrast not being quite this good in the previous model. And on this one, watch as the fireworks go off and how the explosions are captured with this new setup. So I'll leave a lot more footage at the end, but for now, let's move on to getting my chopped up Govi M1 added to the setup. In a very recent video, I went over how to cut up and reconnect their new LED strip using different length wires. This is going to unlock so many different possibilities for unique places and angles that you can set it up versus being confined to simply adding a single 16 foot section in a straight path. And I know you can't see it right now, but I have those five cut up sections of the M1 placed on the side wall over here at different heights and angles. So to get this set up, click on the movie watching dream view and then select the T2. Next, hit the plus icon to add a product, and after that, it will have you start assigning zones. I'm going to have the first two sections of the LED strip replicate zone 6, which will be the bottom right side of my TV. 
The middle two sections will replicate zone 5, which is the middle right side of the TV, and the last two sections of the M1 will be set to zone 4, corresponding to the top right. Now just hit the check mark at the top right of the screen and you're all done. I'm also going to quickly add a small part of my Govi Glide to the setup that's sitting on top of the mantle. Now before I start testing, I want to point out that you can control the brightness of everything all together or you can do so individually. I like to adjust them separately since I generally want the lights that are off to the side set to a little bit lower. Now that everything's set up, I'll go over some of my favorite examples of this in action. So for this one, I want you to pay close attention to a couple things. Not only are the lights in the corner of my room reacting very accurately to the color on the TV, the brightness is also being adjusted in relationship to the content being displayed. And here's another one that shows off some vibrant explosions. Now from here on out, I'll just keep playing some of the best footage I came up with, but as far as my overall thoughts, I absolutely love the new T2 and appreciate all the improvements that were made. And even though the camera doesn't bother me at this point since I'm so used to it, I would still love for Govi to try their hand at making a sync box version since I do realize for some people the camera is still a deal breaker. So that about wraps things up. As always, let me know if you have any questions at all and I hope you enjoy the final videos.